So this little unit actually started out as a joke, hence the name Happy Turtle Lettuce Feeder. Being such, I did not commit a whole lot of time to actually designing it. In fact, one sitting in Fusion 360 and I busted out the whole thing. And it ended up working actually remarkably well, so let's take a look at how it functions. So when we started talking about doing an April Fool's joke, we had planned on just doing a render of a quasi-selector cart system. But during the course of that conversation, uh, Big Tree Tech's Vivid came up. And as far as we understand, the way the Big Tree Tech Vivid functions is there's a drive motor and there's a selector cam. And upon discussing it, we figured we could probably implement something with software that would work in more or less the same manner. Having a camshaft where we could control the geometry of this depressor and everything happening inside this extruder body, we could make sure that this lands closed in a way that is exactly like Clockwork 2 or another direct drive extruder. So we get really good filament engagement as if there was no selector at all. Being able to control the geometry of this extruder like that, we can guarantee the correct bite on the filament every single time. You can see this is actually a very heavy motor to spin. It's a uh, 1684 LDO motor. And instead of slipping through the extruder, it would rather turn the whole system. Well, it does not want to focus on the filament, but if you look really close, it's not even chewing it up at all. Perfect engagement with the filament. So being a direct drive system and lane based, obviously it needs a hub or a combiner. And so I used the geometry for the box turtles hub that I've been working on improving and just made a quick combiner for it. And obviously it'll still need a buffer. So here's the turtleneck. And something that's really unique about this system is the filament sensor situation. So what I have here is two micro switches. I've got the common pins tied together and the two normally opens just run back to the MCU. And what that allows us to do is have a load and a runout sensor on one MCU pin. And you can see the two spots for the sensors on either side of the extruder body here. The side effect of having the filament sensing situation as such is it doesn't actually matter which direction the filament goes through the system. If it's more convenient to have the hub behind the system and running to your printer, you can do that. If it is more convenient for it to be on the front side of the system and your spool management behind it, you can do that too. It just takes reversing the direction pin in the configuration. I didn't have any desire to shorten these stepper wires, but another benefit of a configuration like this is we do not need very many MCU pins. So this can actually be run on a mellow Easy Rabbit board, I believe, because it's got the GPIO breakout. Obviously, you still got to have the hub sensor and the homing sensor as well as one sensor pin for each lane. And I baked in a spot underneath on the back and each side to pass cables through. So you can configure this however you need to apply it to your given setup. This is one of the Happy Turtle Lettuce Feeders built by one of the Discord community members for testing. And what it's showing now is from Cold Startup, it's doing a slow homing move to find the end stop of the cam. And then it's gonna run through each lane position and check the sensor states. And what it does every time it goes to a new lane is it will rehome the cam just to make sure that it's not losing position for one reason or another. And you can see it ran through all four lanes there. And here's another one of the test units that was built in action, actually doing a multicolor print. So right now it's unloading lane two. He's using his box turtle spool management for it. It's going to move over to lane four. You see, it did the homing move on the cam there just to verify position. And it's going to load to the tool head.
And these are working well enough that we are going to be doing serials on the Armored Turtle Discord for them, if you choose to. And if you didn't know, any of the projects that Armored Turtle is releasing publicly gets its own manual. So of course we had to do one for the lettuce feeder as well. And if you haven't seen this, it actually shows you all the steps of assembly in 3D space. Not only that, sometimes there will be animations to show basic functions. And you can use it as a color picker to plan what you're going to do your printed parts in. Black and gold, we can change primary accent and frame color. So if we look at the extrusion there, make it red. And of course, just a clean, effective, step-by-step -step instructional on how to assemble any of the Armored Turtle projects. And here's a quick tease of what we'll have paired to the revision of 8-track at Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival 2025. It is a from the ground up brand new printer design.